Hello guys and welcome to my Team of the Season Pele review. He's an Italian striker of course who plays in the Eredivisie for uh, Feyenoord and I probably got that pronunciation completely wrong but I put him in my Italian squad so I'll be basing him on other Italian strikers not in the, in the Dutch league. So he's got 60 pace, 75 shooting, 62 passing, 69 dribbling, 48 defending and 87 headings, 6 foot 4. So he's pretty tall, right foot, 3 star skills and 3 star weak foot. I bought him for 73 and a half grand. He was 50 to 60k, but some guy, some absolute knob, has started trying to price fix him. It's not working, so he's probably going to go down in price. And um, I expect him to settle about 60 grand. So take a look at his in game stats 91 finishing, 92 heading, actually, 81 ball control, 92 pens, 96 shot power, and 91 volleys are the standout stats in there. He's also got 73 short passing, which I'll talk about later. Medium uh, attack work rate and low defense work rate. As you can see, he's 6 foot 4 with 92 strength. This guy is an absolute tank of a player. Uh, not too good physical attributes or mental attributes, to be honest. He's got um, 76 uh, attack positioning. So, talking about this guy, um, he, he, is, he is a monster of a player, guys. Um, he's one of those players you kind of like but you don't like because you don't like him because his dribbling is awful, uh, which is probably what I'll be talking about. But his shooting is insane. He's got. Such a powerful shot, guys. It's probably the most powerful shot on a silver player, or definitely up there with the the, the most powerful shots on a silver player. And um, I'll talk about his dribbling first because it took a few games to get used to it. It, I, it was a bit clunky. It felt like I was manoeuvring a tank sometimes because um, it was really hard to dribble with him. I did get used to it, and it did. It was okay afterwards. For some reason, in the box, it seemed a bit better, and uh, I don't know why, but. I, I, you'll see in a couple of clips, I did actually get past, I did faint past a couple of players, which is pretty good. And um, he's a slow player, guys, but this guy's an absolute tank. He just powers his way through defences. He's got a really, really powerful shot behind it. And his finishing is good. He's got a good power shot. Um, but his long shot isn't that great, to be honest. Um, anything from 20 yards, and it's probably going to go in. But anything outside of that, it's probably going to go out wide. And... Um, you see there, his, his dribbling is not too bad. It's, it's really strange. Um, but he's, he's, a, he's a good, he's a target man, of course. And it, it actually surprised me how good his passing was. I thought he had a great relationship with the other striker and the winger out wide. And he did get a couple of assists for me. And um, yeah, that 73 short passing really does help out. That was the one thing I was really surprised about. Like I said, he's not that fast and he's not that good dribbling. So you want to keep him in the box where uh, those um, areas of the player don't really matter that much. And like in you know, shooting wise, he's a very very good shot, and his heading as well is amazing. You know, six foot four, um, ninety two strength. He's not going to get uh, put off balance in the air. And ninety two heading actually is really really good. He just pinpoint accuracy with his headers in in the top corner or in the bottom corner. And um, yeah, back to his shooting. The keepers can't handle his shot. And um, he did score 20 goals in 8 games for me, which is phenom phenomenal. I can't even pronounce that word properly. I'm quite tired now, guys. Um, yeah, he, I, it was something about him. Um, I, I wouldn't, I prefer, like, I prefer Gaviadini playing with him, but he's got a better goal record than Gaviadini and uh, Caracciolo, who are both similar strikers. And basically, comparing him to Caracciolo, they're like the same player, but he's got a better shot, basically. And of course, he's like 60k more, but I, he's definitely worth it. He's he's a monster, guys. I pretty much said everything, um, but his left foot is an average left foot. It um, it was okay. I, I, I don't think I scored that many goals with his left foot. You just get him onto his right foot and he just powers them in. He's just lethal in the box, guys. And um, if you're going to pick him up, I wouldn't expect to score loads of goals in the first few games. But after those first few games, he's just an animal and he just... He just scores so many goals, and it's just wonderful to have a player like that. So we move on to his strength and his weaknesses. So of course he's very, very strong with 92 strength, really, really good heading, very powerful shot as well, and his finishing is awesome. He's a goal poacher. He just seems to get goals, and um, that's brilliant. You know, just someone up there, you can just stick him up there, and he can just score quite a lot of goals for you. is, is brilliant, and um, he's got great short passing as well. His his link up play is pretty good, better than what I expected. Of course, it would be nice if he had a better long shot, but you're probably not going to be in a position where you're going to shoot from um, long range with him, to be honest. And um, his dribbling, it was okay. Um, 
it would have been nice if it was a bit better, you know, like someone like our, uh, in Formal Maori was really good, but this guy's dribbling is not that great, to be honest, and it would be better if he had better pace, but I mean, he's a target man, you don't expect that from a target man, but I'll give him a 9 out of 10 rating, simply because of his goal record, um, you've got to try him out, guys, if you don't like him, you don't like him, you just get someone like Gabby Ardini, um, if you do like him, you'll obviously like him, and he'll score a lot of goals for you, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching this review, guys. Um, please leave a like if it's helped you out. Follow me on Twitter at LucasGGPaz and also subscribe to my channel. I'll be reviewing all the inform, uh, all the team of the season Italian, uh, as many as I can. Sorry, I'm getting really tired now. So just click that Italian job uh, text to go to my Italian job Road to Glory series, featuring my favourite player Gian Paolo Pazzini. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the review, guys. Um, have a good day. Goodbye.